Okay, so guys, I have made it to my Airbnb and I have to say, I am pretty impressed with this Airbnb. Like I'm really impressed actually. Check-in was a snap, it was super easy um, and everybody's super friendly so far. But I'm gonna give you a tour of it. Now, I have to turn on the light <laughs> in the bathroom and it makes some sounds. So beware of that, I'll turn it off as soon as I can. But hold on, I'll show you the bathroom. Really nice. Now we'll swing back into the walkway area. And this is the kitchen. So it's a really small Airbnb, just so you know. I mean, you can tell. It's really small, really nice. And then back in the walkway, um, this is just a little sofa. Kid is sitting in there now. I'm gonna let him out in a minute, but yeah. So this is the kitchen area and the bedroom area. Now you can see these beautiful windows out here. Not much of a view, but that's okay because I just want the light to be let in. But this is the view. So you can see in up this up here, up there is a loft. And we can walk up there like it is a makeshift loft if I've ever seen one in my life. I don't know. <laughs> I doubt I'll be going up here, but I'll show it to you. So this is the loft area. I'll probably just keep my empty luggage in here. So yeah, this is the view from the kitchen. Really cute, really quaint. Um, and plenty of room for me and Kit. Hey guys, I'm about to catch the train or catch the subway, the Metro, um, for the first time. I don't know if I'm going to record it, but I'll definitely try to get some sort of footage either after I've done it or whatever the case may be. But this is the first time I've ever done this. So whew, I'm, I'm nervous, but not too nervous. Um, I do need to be back home. Um, at a certain time because I need to pick up my laundry and I have a dinner party tonight at seven that I need to, you know, freshen up for, get ready for, so on and so forth. All right, <laughs> talk to you guys soon, bye. Everybody, I am headed to Antar, which is a, a mall uh, in Polanco. And I will, hopefully I'll be going to a, like an Apple store, but they call them Mac stores here. So I'll be headed there um, to get some, a few things. And then I'm thinking I may just want to go to a cafe for a minute and chill or go to a museum. Not sure yet, but yeah, I'm in the back of my Uber. Um, I didn't check in with you guys after coming home from the dinner party and it was so awesome. I met some really nice people. We've already made plans to do something else together. So it's just been really fun meeting different people and just like, you know, hanging out and having a good time. But um, hopefully today I plan on start, like trying to start editing videos and stuff like that. Um, so hopefully we'll see how that goes. But yeah, that's kind of all my plans today. Um, I may check in with you guys later, maybe not, but <laughs> I'll see you guys. All right, bye. Hey, everybody. I just wanted to check in um, on this vlog because this morning I went to a brunch um, and it was phenomenal. And I'm going to throw some, just some footage of the food because it was awesome. But to be honest with you, 
I have not had not one single thing here in Mexico City that has not been amazing. Like the food is on another level. It is epic. Um, I did want to come to you guys because um, I did a little, uh, just a little intro when I was going to uh, Antara and I showed you guys um, some footage of the things that, just the bags that I had from the shops that I had went into in Antara, which is the mall in Polanco, one of the malls in Polanco. Um, it's one of my favorite malls that I've been into, but just so you guys know, Mexico is a mall like city. I mean, it, you know how in the U.S. the malls are really raggedy now? Like, it's just not what it used to be. Well, it is what it used to be here and then some. And then some. Like, I love the malls. Anyway, so um, I wanted to just come on real quick, give you guys a haul of what I bought in Antara. Um, so starting out, they have a Sephora there. And I think I've showed you guys some footage of how their Sephora is set up. It's really unique. I've never seen anything like it, but um, it's really awesome. And you know, everybody I've met there is so kind and so sweet. So the first place I went to is Sephora, of course. <laughs> um, and so what I got first and foremost was the Hangover RX 3-in-1 by Too Faced. And so this is it. And basically I had asked a, a Sephora salesperson um, before I left the US, like what's a good setting spray? And they recommended this. And so I bought a little trial size, which is it's fairly big for a trial size. And I started using it once I got here in Mexico City, and it has been awesome. And so I want to keep that trial size for traveling, and I want to use this for obviously here now. And so that's why I bought the full size one. And it, shoot, it looks really big actually. Um, yeah, it's pretty big. It's 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 full size. Yes, it is. Um, so yeah, I bought, I purchased that and then what else? Oh, now I purchased, um, Fenty Beauty by Rihanna and it's a, a lip, a lip cream and fruit snacks is the name of the color. And I'll kind of show it to you guys outside of the container, but this is the color. It is really pretty. Um, this is actually the second time I've purchased this. <laughs> the first time, I lost it. Yeah, well, I was walking um, in Polanco and I was headed to, um, I think I was headed to, to eat dinner, I think, and fell out of my bag somehow, some way. And so yes, this is my second time purchasing fruit snacks here. And the third thing I purchased is Bumble and Bumble um, Hairdresser's Invisible Oil. And this is a, a primer and it is heat and UV protectant. Um, but let me kind of show you guys it real quick. So I told you the sales associates, they are so helpful and they're so sweet. Um, but <laughs> The, there was a gentleman there who recommended this to me as, you know, I, I have to tell the sales associates right off top, me no habla espanol, just so that way they know I don't speak Spanish. Um, and, you know, so hopefully we can communicate in some, some sort of way. <laughs> like, and he started speaking English to me and he recommended this product. And y'all, he went and got the tester sprayed it in my hair and started combing my hair, like right there in the store. 
Um, I know for some people that just would not be acceptable. Um, <laughs> for me, I thought it was just so sweet. I did. I thought it was sweet and so enduring that he did that. Um, Cause you know, like black girls were like, don't touch my hair, but he was so gentle and he didn't even know like this part, like this bottom part of my hair is an extension. <laughs> he didn't even, he didn't realize it. Um, but it, it really impressed me. Um, I, I did think that I could put it on and it wouldn't, uh, cause my, cause I'm natural. So I thought it, I would put it on and it wouldn't cause my hair to revert. I may have put maybe too much on last night. Cause I, when I woke up, it did, there was some reversion. Um, so at least I know that. Um, but I do think this is a great product to marry because right now I'm using, uh, the, what is it? The, uh, what is that brand? Hold on. <sighs> One second, y'all. What is that brand that I'm using right now? Olaplex. Right now I'm using the Olaplex set that they have um, for shampoo conditioning and pre uh, shampoo and conditioning as well. And that is awesome. So I was going to go back and purchase the other one for styling, the set that they have for styling now. Um, but you know, I got to thinking, I said, well, that is a lot of products because it's four products for the shampoo conditioner. You have the shampoo conditioner and then the two treatments for pre shampoo and condition. Um, that's four products alone. And then when you buy the styling set, it's like, I think it's four products there too, or three or four products there too. I'm like, that's a lot of products. Um, but this, you know, it's, it's a, it's a conditioner is essentially what it is for dry to very dry hair. Um, and it is heat and UV protectant, which is important to me. Um, so yeah, I, I really, um, I really like it so far. Obviously, I'm going to keep using it. I don't want to be a product junkie, so I'm going to do my best to actually use this up. And then, you know, if I want to move on to something else, I will. All right, moving on, moving on. They also gave me um, some testers, um, just some samples, um, and I didn't have to use my points or anything for them. He gave me two uh, Clinique Smart Clinic Repair Wrinkle uh, Correcting Serum. He gave me two of these, which is really sweet. Um, so hopefully I will be utilizing those. Um, so yeah, that's everything I got from Sephora. And the next store I went to was Mac. And I haven't been in a Mac in years, guys. I really have not. Um, <laughs> I'm a, I really do like Sephora. I am a Sephora girl. Um, so, you know, what caught my eye with Mac is they have a, uh, some Black Panther products and, you know, geared toward Black Panther. And I was like, well, let me just go in there and see what they have. And so I went in and the sales associate was so sweet and so helpful. And, um, I saw a couple things actually that I wanted. Now I didn't, what I will tell you is I didn't get the eyeshadow palette, I'm debating on whether I should go back and get it, but I just bought like, I have like three eyeshadow palettes that are bomb and I'm really enjoying them. Um, but yeah, I, I may go back to get that uh, eyeshadow palette um, just for the sake of like memorabilia and it, the colors were cute. I just won't lie, the colors were really cute. But what I did get, it the first thing was, um, it's like, I would guess you a, like a skin finish that they have. Now, that is one product that I have always used for MAC as a highlighter is their skin finish. Um, and I really like it. The one that I normally use is gold and I just can't remember the name of it. Um, but this um, is called Royal Vibrancy. And this is the packaging for it. And let me just kind of open it up so you guys can see. And I'm going to try to sit for it because I get better lighting and the sun is going down. But this is the packaging. 
for this product, guys. Is this not gorgeous? And I know you can see the, the record button. Sorry about that, guys. But this is it. Hopefully you can see. Really gorgeous. Um, but this is, like I said, Royal Vibrancy, and it's a, a skin finish. But the way the sales associate was kind of talking to me about it, she was like, you can put this on your on your actual skin, like, and, you know, cause your skin to glow. And I was like, you know what? You're absolutely right. Rihanna, Fenty Beauty by Rihanna, has a, a, a skin finish that's like a glow. I know you guys know what I'm talking about. It Everywhere I go in the U.S. <laughs> and here in Mexico City, it is sold out. And so, you know, hey, this may be the next best thing for me anyways. So let me show you what this looks like because it is gorgeous. So that is it. And hopefully I will use this, um, you know, when I wear something strapless just to highlight, you know, this area right here and my shoulders, you know, hey, what's wrong with that? <laughs> so the next thing I got from the Black Panther collection um, is a, it's a, a, a lipstick, a liquid lipstick. And this is the packaging for that. Gorgeous. Um, and the color is called Show Off, apparently. I didn't know that, but to be quite honest with you, like just like full transparency. So like quite a few of the items were sold out, you know, for this Black Panther collection. Um, I believe they have four liquid lipsticks. Two of them were sold out. So I only had the options really between two. And the one that I did not choose was very dark. And it actually looked like Fruit Snacks, the, the color that I bought from uh, Fenty Beauty. So I was just like, eh, let, me, let me do this one. Now, this particular color, first, I'm going to show it to you in the tube. That's what it looks like. And then I'm going to do a swatch for you guys. Hopefully I don't get it all on my white dress. But it really, it looks cute. I, I'm excited to actually wear this. So that's the color, a nude pinky color. I think that's really classy. I do. And she gave me <laughs> a couple samples too. Um, the first one is a Studio Radiance Moisturizing and Illuminating Silky Primer. Um, and now I used to use um, MAC foundation years ago. Not foundation, but primer years ago. Well, I did use a foundation too, but I used their primer years ago. Um, so I might try this out. This is it, and this is what, what it looks like, the actual tube looks like. So she gave this to me as a sample. I'll see, you know, if it's, it's something that appeals to me. And then she gave me a Mac Studio Fix Plus sample. It's a little tiny, cute sample. I am definitely going to be traveling with this, with this, because this is just too adorable. Yeah. That is so cute. Now, everybody raves about this, the Mac Studio Fix Plus. Guys, I've never actually tried it. So, yeah, I'm excited to try it. Um, so that is all I got from Mac. Next items that I purchased were from Zara. Um, so, I, you know, I love Zara like everybody else. Um, I can tell you guys, like, I only came here with three suitcases and one of them was, you know, had my clothes in it. So it's not like I have a whole, whole lot of clothes. Okay. Um, I definitely have to focus on, you know, just rebuilding my wardrobe, especially for here, because obviously the climate is different and the weather is wonderful, like superb here in Mexico city. Um, 
So yeah, I'm excited to kind of plug in, you know, different areas in my wardrobe. So something that I've had my eye on for quite a while. Like I have wanted these for so long and I'm so happy I finally got them. But what I got were these boots. can see these bad boys here really awesome they're heavy they are heavy but so let me put this down here okay so what I have been told and the reason why I purchased the reason why I purchased these is because I was told in December and January it will get cold here not snow cold like it's not gonna snow but it will get cold and it's more like sweater weather. So I can see myself in my sweater, my tights, and in these bad boots right here, y'all. These cute bad boots. You see these little, little things right here. But yeah, they stretch. And yeah, they're just too cute for words. Like I really am so happy I was able to purchase these. And I look forward to wearing them soon. Now, the other pairs of shoes I purchased, one of them I've already worn today. I wore with this dress and this whole outfit to brunch. So these sliding loafers right here, I purchased at Zara. You can see that cute detail right here. And I wore them today walking, um, you know, to the subway and to to the to the restaurant and they were very comfortable thank god they were very comfortable because i was a little worried but the reason why i bought them is for dresses like this um i wanted to have just a a, a they're not white they're cream but here so they're not they're not white as you can see they're cream but you know, they're very comfortable and I can wear them with, you know, light colored or white cream colored outfits. And so that's why I purchased these. Now I also purchased them in black. Yeah. So here you go. You can see that detail hopefully. So yeah, I purchased them in black as well. And, you know, hopefully, I haven't worn these, just the black pair just yet. So hopefully I'll break those in soon. But I do have to tell you guys, <laughs> something that happened. Um, so I, you know, paid for everything and, I, and I'm leaving Zara and the alarm goes off. <laughs> Like that is, I don't, oof, I don't know if that's ever happened to me or if it's been like years and years since something like that has happened, but the alarm goes off as I'm leaving with my things that I purchased. Now, the security guard was standing, what are you doing, kid? Oh, Lord, he, y'all, I'm sorry, kid. I'll, I'll just move <laughs> like that. But the security guard is standing right next to you know, the security area. So I just walk over and I hand him my receipt and he starts speaking Spanish and I'm like, me no habla Espanol. And then another security guard walks up and he takes my bag and the receipt and he's saying something in Spanish. And I didn't really know what he was saying. Um, and that's what made me nervous, right? Um, and I... And he basically is telling me, you know, let's go back to the to the cashier. And um, I'm like, oh, okay, see, see. Um, and so we make the trek all the way from the front of the store to the back of the store where the cashier is. And I'm nervous, right? Because obviously there's a language barrier. I obviously know I haven't stolen anything. I have the receipt. It's not, you know, nothing like that. But nonetheless, I was nervous. Yes, I was. And um, 
So we get to the counter and basically the cashier starts apologizing. Like I, I could understand a little bit. I could understand a little bit of what she was saying. She starts apologizing and she takes the boots and she scans them in some way. Basically, so what, what essentially happened was these boots. These boots set off the alarm because the original cashier that I had forgot to uh, do the do the uh, security scan on them, so that the, so that way you know they wouldn't they wouldn't uh, sound off the alarm when I when I left the store. But I was just like, oh lord! <laughs> but they were so sweet. Like I said, she was apologizing. She was so sweet. And I was just like, okay, okay, <laughs> no problem, you know. But they so calm. But yeah, I was like, oh, oh snap, hold on. <laughs> but yeah, so that was just like a little adventure for the day. So, guys, the next thing I want to show you guys, um, you know, I went to the body shop and I purchased this. And it is basically a makeup remover, like that Garnier Fructis one. But this is gentle. Like it says, it, it, it's from the body shop and it's chamomile. Gentle eye makeup remover um, with calming uh, a chamomile extract. Uh, and I can tell you, it is gentle. Um, it really is. And I, I think I actually, you guys, my um, cat is just enjoying himself over here in in the body shop bag, okay? Um, <laughs> he's all in it. So anyways, guys, but this really, I, I think I actually like it better than the, my my cellular my water. I, I think I like it better than the, than the other uh, brands. So, yeah. I'm, I'm really happy with this purchase because I used it last night and I was impressed. I'll say that much. Moving on from there, the next thing I purchased, it's, it's a big thing. It's a pretty big thing. I pat my eye on this object for, I don't know, a couple of years maybe now. And I decided this is the year. Treat yourself. Treat yourself, sis. So I, I purchased it. Um, it's an it's a Christmas present to myself essentially. Um, so it's not like I just like purchased it just to purchase it. Like it's actually my Chris, Christmas present. Um, so without further ado, let me show you guys. <laughs> yes, I purchased the Body Shop Advent Calendar. Guys, this is like my second advent calendar I've ever had in my life. Like the first one I had was from David's Tea and all it was like every day it was a different tea um, flavor. And it was awesome. I really enjoyed it. I may try to find something similar to it this year. But yeah, so I'll just kind of give you guys a sneak peek of what it's like to just open this thing and what it looks like. Um, so let me show you. So we have the whole little pop-up, which is just so cute and adorable. And under here is where all the goodies are. So this is one layer. Uh-oh. <laughs> Hold on. So this is just one layer. There's a drawer right here full of goodies. And then there's another drawer right here full of goodies. And so each day, I just open up a different, a different box. And um, hopefully, now I don't know if all these things are full size, guys. I really don't. Um, so hopefully I'll vlog each day I open up a, um, I open up something. But yeah, I bought that for myself and just, you know, wanting to enjoy it. And I think. I was somewhere and I saw a cat advent calendar. I may end up getting one for Kit too. Um, he may enjoy it. But other than that, that's all the things that I got um, at this last Antara uh, 
mall visit that I did. Hey guys, this is me just closing out this vlog. Um, I'm right now eating dinner and editing <laughs> some YouTube videos, but I just wanted to come to you guys and close out the vlog because I think my camera and my phone ran out <laughs> of memory. So I've got to clear my uh, memory card and um, so I can record some more because um, tomorrow is my first Spanish lesson, guys. So I'm excited. But uh, you guys all take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Be blessed. I'll see you guys on the next one, okay? Bye.